Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm at a resort that isn't quite open yet, but will be soon. It's Resorts World Las Vegas. I'm here with Scott Sabella, who's the president of Resorts World uh, Las Vegas. And this, this place, as I said, is going to open up uh, next summer. But we're going to find out all about it and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Scott, here we are uh, at this wonderful new resort, uh, and you're going to be opening up next summer. Well, tell us a little bit about how this came to be. Well, it's, um, you know, it's exciting that we are opening next summer. It's been in plans for three or four years now. We've been under construction for two and a half years. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything's going well. Uh, we're on uh, track and on budget, and we're opening next summer. That's great. Now, it is a sort of unique resort is that you actually have three hotel brands within the resort, right? Yeah, we uh, we're so lucky and fortunate to partnered with Hilton, and we have three of their great brands. One will be a Hilton brand, about 1,700 rooms. Uh, the Conrad will be the largest Conrad in the world, 1,500 rooms. And then we're create we're creating a new brand that we're bringing from overseas to be in their LXR program called Croxfords, which is a ultra luxury brand that we're really excited to introduce to Las Vegas. And these will all be, uh, they'll be all self-contained and they'll have their own entrances? Yeah, they all have, will have a separate experience, their own entrances, um, uh, great accommodations, easy access to get in, and then all three will, of course, share all the amenities throughout the property. And Yeah, and you have a lot of amenities, I know. Uh, first of all, you're going to have a great casino, right? I know that's being worked on. Yeah, we'll have a great casino in the center of the property, over 120,000 square feet, and we'll also have a high-end gaming area for that big uh, international player. No, it, it, I'm sure it's going to be wonderful now. The other thing is you're going to have a lot of other facilities. Uh, I know you're going to have a big pool complex and things like that, right? Yeah, we, we're really excited about the pool. It's um, over six acres, seven pools out there. It's on the fifth floor. There's an infinity pool that looks over this strip, uh, but it's going to be a great experience for everybody. And then, of course, you're going to have nightclubs, right? Oh, yeah, we're going to have a nightclub, a nightclub scene, nightlife scene with a, a great nightclub, uh, day club pool area, restaurants. And it's at the front of the building across some strip, the first nightclub really on the strip. So we're excited about that. I'm sure we'll be looking forward to that. And of course, I, I, I don't want to leave out dining. And I don't know how much, I know you're still working on some of the venues, but tell us a little bit about the options that are going to be available, uh, both within each property and overall. Yeah, so there's um, over 40 restaurants throughout the property. Uh, we'll partner with some great uh, partners that we're excited to announce and I know everybody. You can tell us now if you want. <laughs> I can't leak it out, I'll get in trouble. But some really creative and uh, great partners. Uh, the Asian Cuisine will be all part of Resorts World. We're bringing our sister our properties, uh, uh, restaurants into Resorts World. Uh, we're an Asian company so we know we're good at that. Uh, so the Asian Cuisine will be top notch. And again, we're excited about what we're going to announce soon. Now, you mentioned you are an Asian company. You know, you're owned by Genting. Uh, what is the theme of this resort, or is it really sort of the new wave of Vegas where it doesn't really have themes? Yeah, it's it's the first thing I'll say is it's not an Asian theme property, and that was kind of the talk when we first um, opened. And there were some renderings, but that was early stages. It's a it's a property that's a it's a contemporary property. Um, it will have some Asian flair throughout it uh, when it comes to maybe the artwork and the color palettes and things like that. But more importantly. What, what we're going to bring from Ginting is that guest service that um, we're known for. It's a family company back in Asia and Malaysia, and they understand service and guest experience. And that's what we're really excited to bring that back to Vegas and, you know, bring back old Vegas, back to taking care of the guests and taking care of the employees. And I think you're going to have a lot of great art installations and wonderful kind of, I saw some of the things you're going to be, it's going to be an amazing looking property. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of must-see attractions. Um, I can't talk about those either, but they're out th- they're throughout the property. Uh, one I can talk about is an LED screens that we're doing. Technology is really important to us. You remember, we're the first property to open in over a decade. So technology's come a long way, and we're taking advantage of it. So when it comes to technology, uh, you'll see it throughout the property. We'll have an LED screen on the face of the building. You already do? Yeah, I already <laughs> do. Over 100,000 square feet. Um, yeah, we've teased a little bit. And you can see what it can do. It's pretty cool. And then inside the property, there will be a LED globes and uh, must-see attractions. But there's LED used today that, that, that other places have used. It just hasn't been exposed to Las Vegas because of, uh, I guess, the infrastructure on the property. So we're really excited to turn all that on. Yeah, no, I've seen some properties like that, and they, it really and I saw your your LED already, the example, and it really does show up all over the strip. Right? Yeah, it's. Um, I mean, since we've shown it, the comments we get have been really positive, and you can see it. 
from airplanes coming in to, to uh, developments across miles away, and everybody's talking about the LED screen. Now you said, we, you are the first you know, major new property in say 10 years, uh, and actually right now Vegas seems to be coming back. There are a few properties that are opening now, and you're gonna be the culmination of this in the summer. Uh, what makes this property different on the Strip? I mean, what, what, what do you think is really the, the, your major difference? I think there's a lot of things, but I think being on the North Side Strip is, is really gonna help us. We're on 88 acres. We're only building on two thirds of that. So we have one third for future development. We have a lot of lot of land. So we have four grand entrances to get in. We believe in the rival statement. That's where it starts. You have to do that right. So it's going to be easy to get to these three different hotel experiences. You'll get out easily. Um, and the way we're programming inside, it is a, truly an integrated property with um, something for everybody, from five star service to mid level restaurants to live music everywhere. It's, it's, just, it's how we're programming it and how we're designing the inside of it, I think, is what's going to be special here. Uh, anything else you want to get out to our, we got out about 100,000 travel advisors right now who hopefully will be booking this property and also staying here, I'm sure, for a, a few conferences now and then because that's what we seem to do here. Anything else you want to tell them? I just want to tell them that, first of all, how um, proud we are of the travel agents and what they've done for the city and the integral part they're going to play in our success. Uh, we want to be there for them. Uh, we want to. We're putting a, together an advisory board. If you go to our website, uh, rwlasvegas.com, you can um, see travel agents. Click that if you'd like to be part of it, because we want to set up the the rates and how we're going to showcase the property to them, how we educate them, because we want them to be part of it. Because without them, there would be no success. Um, yeah, there's convention and other segments, but the leisure segment is so important to us, and I just appreciate everything that they do. Well, I'm sure they'll appreciate this new resort next year, and I'm sure we'll be talking before then as you get more and more, uh, uh, you know, more information about the dining and all the other venues, and as we get closer and closer to the opening next summer. Scott, I want to thank you for taking the time to speak with us about uh, this fabulous new resort, uh, the first on the Strip in many, many years, 10 years, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful place for travel advisors to come and a wonderful place for their clients to come. Thank you for having me. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>